Hey guys, it's Everywhen, and today I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on how to use multiple switches or touch plates with a single door or sign. So, here's what we're going to do. First, we're just going to get everything I need into my sidebar there. Um, chemical doors, yeah, and touch plate. I need a switch. I'm going to need a mechanical sign. And I think it's what everything I should probably get my pickaxe back. There we go. So, first things first, I will just make sure I might make this roof a bit higher too. So I can stick the sign up here. Actually, no, I won't. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'll just close that off. There we go. Little door. Doorway. So, if I get a touch plate. Put it here and call this um, switch one. And now I put this here. Walk onto it. The door's going to open. Now, if I get another touch by here, call it switch two. And then if I mine this door, and then I put another one right back exactly where it was. If I walk on here now both of the switches will control the door so if I get my trusty buddy here Lucas hello Lucas can you get that up there for me and up you go so he'll open that door close the door and keep walking back and forth like that forever I might actually set up another one of those so, another touch for here, let's call it switch three, stick the door there, make sure to get out of the way, let's call this one switch four, and then put another door there. We can see that as he walks back and forth, he's triggering those switches. Now, while he's walking endlessly, I'm going to show you something else. So, we know we can connect now multiple switches to a single door or multiple touch plates. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to connect multiple um, touch plates to a sign and show you some of the codes. So, I might just put that there. If I get a switch here, and now I type asterisk um, player now I'll just zoom in here if I walk on that it's going to say everyone so it'll say the name of whoever walked over it so if I open this up and wait for Lucas to come back and see Lucas okay so what we can do is we can connect this to a mechanical sign so if I stick that there like message no there we go Lucas and now at this end is another command. I'm going to put astro. Oopsies. I'm going to do that. Let's try that again. I'm going to go asterisk name. And so what? Um, that. Oh, and no. um, yeah, you have to put an asterisk at the end of that too. But what that does is it randomly generates a name. So as you can see, um, it's the same naming system they use to generate the names for the androids. So if I just stand here for a while, Lucas. Now as he walks across this switch here, Christopher and Thresher. So the names here don't actually match up because they're both randomly generated, whereas this one it takes it from whichever character walked over the switch. Abby and Geneve, Ali and James, so completely different names. So let's go here. And so yeah, like I was saying before, um, you can do the same thing with switches, pretty simple. Um, let's call this one, put a door there, call this two, get rid of the door, put the door back, and two, one. 
so both of the switches can control the door. Um, so that's about it for this tutorial. Um, thanks for joining me. Bye.